Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath and uh, today's topic is a toxicology. Toxicology is a pharmacology ka bop. Uska bop hai. Pharmacology ka bop. Toxicology. Pharmacology is important. Toxicology is a double important. Double, twice. Twice important than the pharmacology. Toxicology. That's why toxicology, there was a separate chapter in your pharmacology, entire pharmacology syllabus. Toxicology is one separate chapter because it is very, very important. See, before issuing of any drug, before prescribing of any drug, you must consider the toxic properties of a drug. We know that most of the drugs are having a side effects, serious side effects, okay, non-serious side effects. Most of the drugs are having a side effect. That's why before issuing of a drug, you must consider the toxicological properties. Okay, right. See, in this video, what I am going to be cover, brief out everything. See, whatever I am presenting, it is more than enough. In your regular examination, this is more than enough. Okay. And uh, these are the topics, seven topics we are going to be cover. Acute toxicity, cute, very cute, smart, okay, toxicity, subacute toxicity, chronic, long time, chronic toxicity. Acute means small time, cute, okay. Chronic means a long term. Genotoxicity, gene, see here, name itself in it. Carcinogenicity, cancer, teratogenicity, <clears throat> mutagenicity, all cities. Okay, right. Yeah, you can see the syllabus here definition and the basic knowledge of the acute, subacute, chronic toxicity, same things. Genotoxicity, carcinogenicity, teratogenicity, mutagenicity. And uh, this is my uh, app, mobile app. You can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. Here, I am giving all my presentation in the form of PDF. So before going the examination, you can have a quick review. So after downloading, go to the store option and select the course. Okay, select the course and you can proceed. All PDF, all subject PDFs are uh, available. This is my YouTube channel. Go to the playlist I have arranged all my explanation videos in the form of a playlist in the form of playlist subject wise i have given if you click on each subject you will get a topic wise very easily i have arranged okay right now we will see the toxicity quality of being toxic or being poisonous is nothing but a toxicity toxicity is different toxicology is different see my dear students Toxicology, logy means science. It is nothing but a study. Logy means a science. Okay, toxicology means study of the poisonous effect or toxic effects of the drugs, medicines with emphasis on the detection, prevention and treatment of the poison. Total entire concept is called as a toxicology. Whereas a toxicity is nothing but a quality of being toxic, being poisonous, being dangerous, you can say, being in our general language. It is also includes the study of adverse effects is called as a toxicology study of adverse effects. And uh, same drug substances can be used as a medicine. Same substance can be used as a poison also that depends upon the dose. Paracetamol, if you are taking a more than 1000 uh, mg, 500 mg, 650 mg maximum. If you are taking double the dose, triple the dose, it is acts as a poison. Anything, even water also, if you are taking a water daily, 6 liters of water, it is a good for health. If you are taking a 20 liters per day, water also become a poison. And here you can see a very sweet and smart slide. Acute toxicity, subacute toxicity, chronic toxicity, attention. See, acute toxicity is nothing but adverse effects of the drug, which is occurred within 24 hours. See, this is important. Within 24 hours, whatever you will get an adverse effect, that is called a acute toxicity. Okay? After administration of a single single escalating dose, keep in your mind, single escalating dose, very important word, of a drug. For example, alcohol, if you are taking within 24 hours, you will get a hangover. Now, subacute toxicity, adverse effects are occurring in a 14 to 28 days after the administration of the single dose or multiple dose. So, side effects which are produced Within the 14 to 28 days, is called as a subacute toxicity. That's why this is called a repeat dose toxicity. 
here it is called a single escalating dose toxicity chronic toxicity means a long term adverse effects or side effects which are occurring within a, a 6 to 12 months that is one year 12 months after the administration of a single or multiple dose of a drug example is alcohol same alcohol here alcohol produces a hangover within 24 hours here alcohol produces a liver cirrhosis here alcohol produces a cancer so alcohol is having a three effect acute toxicity subacute toxicity chronic toxicity all see that's why toxicity studies are mandatory for each and every drug whenever you are developing a new drug before coming into the market you must study the toxic properties compulsory very cleanly very neatly you have to study the toxic properties very very important that see here prospective toxicity screens very very important step this is a drug development process here I have shown you cytotoxicity, what we have shown in the starting slide, so cytogenotoxicity, all this toxicity, you must completely studied. See, this is a, uh, from pharmacology, Tripathi, uh, toxicity tests. How to do a toxicity tests now? See, the aim is to determine the safety of a compound. Safety of in at least a two animal species. Most probably a mouse we are using, or rat and dog. Mouse or rat and dog we are using animals. And you must perform the toxicity tests. You must perform. Acute toxicity tests, how to conduct? See, I have already told you 24 hours. See here, one to three days. You have to give to the animals and you have to study the toxicity. One to three days. And see here, subacute toxicity. It is a two to 12 weeks. I have already told you the same thing. And chronic toxicity study for a 6 to 12 months, you have to study in the animal and you have to be uh, check the toxicity which is produced in the animal's body. Okay, next, genotoxicity. Very simple thing, genome. It refers to the ability of a drug to cause a genetic damage. See here, damage. If you are taking a drug, your uh, genes will be damaged. Those type of drugs, for example, various alkylating agents, anti-cancer drugs, alkylating agents, it damages the genetic information, DNA, RNA, many things it will be damaged. Mutagenicity, it causes a mutation. See here, mutation, some changes, mutation. It refers to the capacity of a drug to bring the mutation. See here, DNA is mutated here. Changes will be there in the sequence of the DNA. Mutation in the genetic, these, are, these drugs are dangerous. This is also dangerous and these are also dangerous. The defects will be carried into the next generation. So small change in the DNA leads to a big change in the organism. In the human being, there was a very big change. Okay, it will be very dangerous. Your next generation, next generation, very dangerous. So that's why hydroquinone is an example. See, keep in your mind, all mutagenicities are genotoxic drugs. But not all genotoxic drugs are mutagenic. Okay, right. That is very, very important. And carcinogenicity, which causes a cancer. Causes a cancer. Example is alcotoxin. These are, don't use these type of drugs. Compulsory means that you can use. Otherwise, you should not use. Uh, teratogenicity. This teratogenicity, see what mother is taking ice cream. Child, fetus also taking ice cream. See, pregnancy, whatever mother consumes, automatically fetus also consumes the same drug. So if mother consumes the medication, fetus also consumes the medication. That is called a teratogenicity. It refers to the capacity of a drug to cause a fetal abnormalities when administered to a pregnant mother. Pregnant mother. Placenta, we know that very well. The link between the mother and fetus. Placenta is a not, not the strict barrier. So many drugs cross, crosses it. Example is thalidomide. It causes a sealed limbs, absence of the limbs. No hands, no legs. This was happened. Okay, thalidomide. All these examples you have to write in the examination. Human teratogenic drugs, thalidomide. Phocomelia. This is called an absence of the limbs. Sealed limbs is called as a phocomelia. And also this thalidomide causes a multiple defects of internal organs, anti-cancerous drugs. All these are drugs are uh, causes a teratogenicity in the human. Don't, should not give a pregnant pregnancy. So in pregnancy, it causes, a, see, these drugs causes a dangerous in three stages. 
first stage is in the fertilization state itself the our drugs is have shows its side effects and the fertilization of the spermatozoa egg zygote formation permanent see fertilization and implantation of the egg and uh, that is first stage the second stage organogenesis during the development thalidomide shows the tragedy here organogenesis no organs will be developed in the thalidomide if mother is consumed okay and the growth and development in this stage so three stages are there three stages you have to write in the examination and the risk category of the drugs during the pregnancy was divided only this line is important don't uh, uh, get fear by seeing this diagram category a no risk at all example one example you can be write in the examination thyroxine like that it is divided not divided by me it is not divided by my uh, college colleagues are not it is divided by the usfda cr as per the usfda b this is a is no risk at all b no evidence of the risk the risk evidence is not there they may produce but we don't know but uh, evidence is not there c risk cannot be ruled out may be chance of the risk uh, d benefit may be weight If, if benefit get a weight then only you have to prescribe and contra indicated x x means cross contra indicated you should not that's why a b c d and x keep in your mind uh, so i will end my session here okay right